next time on Nigga Ball Z. One defense I hear from all across the political spectrum when I criticize corporations or talk about free speech online is they're a private company, they can do whatever they want. But what happens when the government is using said private company in order to suppress what people can say? Bobby. <laughs> <laughs> Activation <laughs> Ricochet <laughs> What is the meaning of this? Metro, what's up? Thank you <sighs> Feels so good to be vindicated Actually, no it doesn't Feels awful <laughs> Yo, what's good? Metro Dooming back again with another Twitter Chronicles, episode three. We back at it again. You already know what we doing over here. Sharing the information that is on the interweb. Sources, hopefully, are official. I wouldn't even say hope. They should be. At least if you're going to put something out of this magnitude. Now, we're probably going to have to chop this up in the segments because this is kind of long, man. I ain't even going to cap. But. It is an interesting read, not trying to get into the conspiracy and all that, even though that is fun shit to cover sometimes. Let's just see if we can get or extract any type of useful information out of this. So, without further ado, let's get to reading. Call of Duty is a military government psyop. Military documents show how the Department of Defense works closely with cop producers to make them more credible advocates. For the U.S. war machine. Now we will dive into that article. I do have that saved. Let's go ahead and read some major points. Because it looks like he did like a little backstory. Let's just run through this a little bit. And of course I'll put the link in the description too. If you're passing information is alright with me. So. First guy. Who we got here. A number of key Activision Blizzard staff. Came straight from the National Security State. Chief Admin Officer Brian. Bulatow was third in command for CIA up until 2018. Let's go ahead and check him out. Let's get some credentials. What do you got? Chief Administrative Officer, Activision Blizzard. All right. Brian Bulatow has served as Chief Administration, yep, Activision Blizzard since March 2021. Brian oversees the Call of Duty endowment as well as key administrative functions including corporate social responsibility activities across Activision Blizzard, HR, IT, workplace and information, and physical security. Hmm. He also managed responsibility for our consumer products group as well as Centrisoft, our European distribution and logistics business, and will be the executive sponsor for the Veterans Employee Network. Now, what we got here highlighted in red. Prior to joining Activision Blizzard, Brian served in the government as the Under Secretary of State for Management and prior to that as Chief Operating Officer at the Central Intelligence Agency. Worked, blah, blah, blah. I guess that's not important. Don't matter. Homie was in the CIA. You know, some interesting people in Activision Blizzard here. Huh. Then there's Fran Townsend. Former George W. Bush Sr. or Nat Secretary Advisor at, and one of the faces of War on Terror and the Surveillance State. She helped popularize the term enhanced interrogation techniques and allegedly had a hand in ramping up the torture program at Abu Ghraib. Yo. All right. This is getting uh, interesting. Making me uh, think of uh, political science back in school. <laughs> In 2018, the Air Force flew a Call of Duty producer out to its headquarters with the express intention of making her a more credible advocate for the U.S. war machine. What does that mean? I don't even know. This is a certified hood classic. What is the meaning of this? Bobby! What is the meaning of this? Metro, I don't trust you. I'm going to shoot you. 